Hi everyone, my name is Maddie, and as many of you requested, we decided to make a Family Vlogs YouTube channel. And instead of starting right off with the vlogs, I thought I would make a video sharing our story and how Mateo came to be. So I'll just take you guys back to the very beginning. Me and Ruben, we met while I was working at Walgreens. He was a customer and long story short, he reached out to me and I didn't respond. And then he reached out again and we started talking and eventually we went on some dates. And then he asked me to be his girlfriend February 19th of 2019. In our first few years together, we spent a lot of time with friends, going on adventures, going on float trips, and just having a good time. And then at the beginning of 2021, January 3rd, I took a pregnancy test as a joke and two pink lines appeared. <laughs> and as you can tell here, we announced our pregnancy on our two year anniversary, February 19th, 2021. I have to say that my pregnancy was relatively easy. There was no complications, there was no morning sickness, so everything was a relatively smooth pregnancy. The entire time that I was pregnant, before we knew the gender, Reuben knew it was a boy. He told me every single day, I know it's gonna be a boy, and let me tell you, when you see his face, when we find out the gender, it's priceless, as you can see here. Now, the name battle lasted us a couple months, but we finally came to the conclusion and the joint decision that we wanted to name him Mateo. And as you can see here, my bump started pretty early, around three months, and just kept getting bigger from there. I think that me and Ruben can both agree that the biggest blessing to us during my pregnancy, labor, and being new parents is the support of our families and our friends and even strangers who don't know us, just showing us that they're there for us. I think personally, one of my biggest struggles was coming home from the hospital and just being sad and feeling empty, you know, the baby blues that everyone talks about. I had them bad, and if I didn't have the support of Ruben and my family and our friends, I definitely would have been in a bad place. And not many people know this, but the first week I was home, I was trying to breastfeed him and it was a struggle. It was a mental challenge and it was terrible for my mental health. I was crying all the time. I felt like a bad mom. I didn't know if he was getting enough. I was worried constantly and I didn't get any sleep. So eventually I sat down with my mom and Ruben and we had a discussion and they left it up to me to make my decision for what's best for Mateo and I. And with much thought, we decided to switch to formula. And although it was the most difficult decision I've had to make since becoming a new mom, I can definitely say that it was worth it. We're both well rested now, he's eating a ton, he's gained tons of weight, and he's healthy, and he's happy, and that is all that matters to us. Being a young parent and a young teen pregnant isn't easy, but I got to walk across that graduation stage six months pregnant, and that was one of the most proudest moments of my life, just being able to say that I did it. And Ruben and I both worked full time, 40 hours to 60 hours a week throughout my whole pregnancy so that we could save up money for Mateo. And I just wanna let anyone know who's has baby fever from Mateo and who says they wanna be a mom, they want a baby. I just wanna tell you that we don't post the struggles we go through. I mean, who does? 
but not every day is an easy day. There are sleepless nights, there's tears. Some days are just a struggle. But at the end of the day, we come together as a family and we just remind each other that we love each other and that's how we get through those hard days. I definitely feel blessed that Ruben has a job that pays well enough to where I get to be a stay-at-home mom until I go to college, January of 2022. Not many people who are teen parents can say that they get to do that. Most of the time, they have to put their life and their priorities on halt to prepare and to take care of their baby. And I just want to give a huge shout out to Ruben for working 60 plus hours a week and still coming home to make sure that I was okay and still checking up on me throughout my entire pregnancy. And when I went into labor, he was by my side for the entire 34 hours. He didn't rest until I was resting. And from day one, I knew Ruben was gonna be an amazing dad because he's just so amazing with kids in general, but he proved it to me even more when he started asking the nurses to show him how to do any and everything because he wanted to make sure that he did everything right by his baby. He changed the first diaper, he got him changed, he got him swaddled, he walked him around. He was a superhero. And honestly, until I was pregnant myself, I never knew labor could be 34 hours long. But after 34 long hours of labor and one hour of pushing, our son, Mateo Anthony Rojas Tierney, was finally born. And less than a month after he was born, we were moving into our own apartment. We do still spend some nights at my parents' house because Ruben works 12 hours a day and my mom works from home, so she's able to help me while he's working, but we do finally have our own space and our own place to call home. It took a lot of hard work and a lot of effort, but we are so happy to be where we are today. Now here we are, little man is almost six weeks old, he's more than 10 pounds, and he's growing so fast that we almost have to pack up all of his newborn clothes because they're too small for him. We are just so grateful for everyone that's been supporting us on this journey and all the people that have sent us little things for Mateo, any necessities that we need, and just overall supported us in this journey. We are beyond grateful. <laughs>